Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the lesson six. Today we are going to see a new topic. The topic is pesticides and the influence that we have the poison has on uh, plants, veggies, and different uh, agriculture uh, styles of life. So this is the lesson six. Uh, stop using pesticides is the slogan of this class because we use pesticides in everywhere in plants vegetables and actually we are using too much chemicals and chemicals in our body like alcohol eh, and other kind of substances to kill bacteria right but it's chemical is chemical chemicals are chemicals and pesticides that are using in plants so for the reason i decide to ch choose a eh, warning pesticides fire will cause toxic toxic fumes a toxic 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 look at the picture so in uh, the field now agricultural topic in agricultural okay, fields uh, people use pesticides in everywhere for kill insects right and different kind of uh bacteria or organisms that can kill plants and for the reason people use pesticides to kill these bacteria insects whatever so uh, spreading the word is the topic do pesticides kill more than just insects is the question Rachel Carson has two main loves loves in the life reading in the reading in the natural world she had spent most time exploring the plants and animals life around be childhood home f uh, with her mother right so she was a talent re writer too and decides to major in English in English in creative, in creative uh, reading in college. So this is like a biography of uh, Rachel Carson and talk about pesticides and his uh, love about writing and natural work. So when she was halfway through, through her studies, she decides to change her major to zoology. So she had no idea at a time how famous she will became but combining her two talents. Carson continued her schooling in the work for years as a marine biologist. So she studied the marine and the marine life. And um, I'm sorry. Ow! And she has a great love and respect for the seas and the critters that live there. So she wrote three books about the ocean and shared with others in her belief about the importance of preserving them. Uh, so it's important to understand that Carson decides and create this kind of books and this kind of theory about bueno, her philosophy is about to care, to care the world, care the natural resources. So in 1940s, right, I'm talking about more than 60 years, Carson began to learn about the use of pesticides in the United States. So she was very concerned about the way that new pesticides, especially one called DDT, were being used so she researched the topic and uh and the more she learned so the more she felt the the more she felt the the need to make other americans aware aware for of what happening and she want people to understand that all if life is con connected even though a pesticides might target a limit number of insects so the effect research reach much further farther than that than that so not only cool other animals around the food shame feel the effects of the poison so cool humans beings so this is the conclusion of the topic ddt the name of the pesticides that she investigated that it was not good to use for natural resources and carson began writing a book uh reading a book writing sorry a book uh, she titled silent spring the title referred to what Carson predicted. So Carson uh, a defend, right? He was a defend. She was a defender about natural resources, right? So Carson predict might happen if a way particles were used didn't change the wool. Didn't change. They there will be so few birds left than the there will be silence in the air. So if you see. Um, birds can uh, the pesticides uh, can cause the damage to the birds and uh, some animals 
of the ecosystem. So look at that picture. If you see the picture, this pesticide is uh, poison. Chemicals are poison. For the reason when you have a fruit, you have to wash it very well before to put it in your mouth because it's dangerous, right? So United States, talking about United States, DDT, DDT the name of the pesticides. In, con in conclusion, uh, look at this picture, how much pesticides we use in the food. Uh, in conclusion, Rachel Carson, the reader saw the sense in what Carson had to say in Silent Spring, the book, right? If it's a picture, here is the name of the book. So he became a huge uh, bestseller. And readers saw the sense in what Carson had to say. The book kicked off the environmental movement. It also made the heavy use of pesticides a public issue. In Rachel Carson died in 1964, four years uh, before, right? She started writing, so, oh, only four years, right? Uh, at the age of 56 years. Oh, she did not live long enough to see the uh, banning of DDT in 1972. Uh, ten years later, right? Even so, she knew she knew uh, she had made a difference in the world. In that other pick up the fight, so uh, environmental defender or people that defend the natural resources is important. One day, if you want to be a part of this list, I, I'm going to say that I'm going to be very proud of you. If you respect the plants, if you respect the trees, and you respect the natural resources, and you, you can be a defender of these cows, you can be a good, good citizen about your country. It's important to understand that we have to care, respect, and love animals and plants. It's necessary, so as a teacher, as a science teacher, I need to tell you that you can be a defender and if you, if you see somebody doing a damage to the plants or doing a damage to one animal, you have to say that it's not correct. You can call the police, you can call your parents, you can scream and you can say, hey, you is not correct to do that. Please respect so you can do it. Right? It's necessary to be different and fight for good causes. Right? So this is the conclusion, conclusion of the topic. Uh, see you in the meet. The next meet, uh, Lucia Ordoñez is going to expose about the natural resources in Honduras. Uh, she's going to expose in PowerPoint, I think, seven slides, and you can prepare something about natural resources in Honduras, and you can expose about the national parks that we have, for example, Janet Cahuas. Uh, what about, um, for example, Pico Bonito? Uh, Laguna de los Micos, and you're going to expose about the natural resources that we have, Rio Platano, Biofera, Rio Platano, for example. And in the next meet, see you, Lucia Ordoñez, you're going to expose about this topic. Bye bye. Love you.